One of the most challenging shots in the game of golf is the shot that goes dead right, commonly called the shank. This awful disease has the ability to spread right through your bag. So how do we cure it? No problem. I've got the perfect formula, and I'll be happy to share it with you today on Winning Golf. Winning golf. Look at this putt, guys. What we play. Nice shot. Working on my short game each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all begins. Winning golf. Everybody wins. That's right. Everybody wins. Winning Golf is brought to you by SAP. SAP helps companies run like never before. Run better with SAP. Hi everyone and welcome to another thrilling week of Winning Golf where everybody wins. And today on Winning Golf, I'm excited to welcome a group from Performance Contracting. This fun and talented team led by Mike Formica will test your short game skills for five rounds in the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge and hopefully take home some awesome prizes like this Adams 3 wood, the number one fairway wood in golf. And of course our champion will have the opportunity to pitch from 90 feet for the keys to a brand new Infiniti G37 convertible. Boy, we'd love to give that car away. And for my instruction, I'm going to discuss one of the most feared shots in the game. You won't want to miss that. But first, before we get to all that excitement, let's take a tour around today's host facility, also known as one of the top family clubs in the entire area, the beautiful Radley Run Country Club. For nearly 50 years, Radley Run Country Club has provided the surrounding neighborhood and community with the very best in club leisure, recreation, and amenities. It is most definitely a family-oriented member-owned club that retains the quiet ambiance and character of the historic Brandywine Valley. Radley Run Country Club, which opened its doors in 1965, was once a property owned by William Penn and Samuel Painter. The on-site mansion house, known as Radley's Gem, dates back to 1770 and provides members and guests with a unique setting for social gatherings, wine tasting dinners, and intimate receptions. Of course, the dining opportunities don't stop there. Radley's Pub offers a casual setting and welcoming atmosphere, much like a regular neighborhood hangout. Complementing the pub is the elegant dining room, which is perfect for banquets and weddings and can accommodate as many as 200 guests. The charming buckler room, which sits adjacent to the dining room, is ideal for intimate meals or small corporate lunches. At Radley Run, uh, we are very family focused. We have great uh, tennis facilities and a pool facility as well as golf course. We have academies in all three of those areas with well over 500 kids combined between the three groups. We just painted new quick start tennis lines on our tennis courts and host junior USTA tournaments here at the club. On the recreational side, Radley Run offers many unique programs for the whole family. The pulse of the club in the summertime is centered around its beautiful 25 meter pool, a place of games and leisure for adults and children. The swimming program also offers a competitive junior swim team that competes in numerous meets with clubs in the surrounding area. Radley's tennis facilities include four hard courts and four lighted hard true courts, as well as two lit paddle tennis courts, bringing year round racket play for all ages to Radley Run. And last but certainly not least is the superbly conditioned 18-hole championship golf course created by well-known English course designer Alfred Toll. This challenging layout, which stretches to 6,847 yards from the tips, creatively incorporates two running brooks, the Plum Run and the Radley Run. The course and practice facilities are meticulously maintained and the views starting from the very first hole are inspiring. At Radley Run, the competitive golfer and the casual golfer alike will find events that will suit their game and the golf games of their children. While adult golfers have three sets of tees, the juniors also have two sets of their own tees. One thing is for sure, Radley Run caters to the entire family. We have quite a few opportunities for all different age groups. And uh, we start with our juniors. We have over 100 juniors in our program. It's been really incredible. It's grown over the years. Radley is the place for families. We're all about creating memories and this great picturesque background. And uh, it's basically like your own backyard. You get to come and have fun and 
leave with great memories. If you would like to learn more about the many amenities that Radley Run Country Club can offer its members, or are interested in planning a golf outing, wedding, or special gathering, please call 610-793-1660 or visit the web at RadleyRunCountryClub.com. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. On the tee today, I would like to share with you three keys that I use when facing a delicate chip shot. Now a delicate chip shot is one where I have very little green to work with. In other words, the pin is tucked near the edge of the green. This shot demands extra feel and perfect contact with the golf ball. Here are my three keys. Number one, I must choke down on the golf club. This not only increases my feel with the club head, but it allows me to accelerate through the ball. A lot of players hold their club at the end, they take the club back too far, and then they have to stop at the bottom. They have to decelerate, and the ball lands right in front of them. You want to be able to accelerate. Choking down helps to make that happen. Number two, I want to narrow my stance. I have to keep my body quiet. I don't want to be moving around laterally. I can't do that if I want to have perfect contact. So I'm going to narrow my stance. And finally, number three, I have to hold my grip very softly. You want to hit it soft, you have to hold it soft. Let's see what happens. I'm going to choke down on the golf club, narrow my stance, and then hold it very softly. Sometimes little shots require little adjustments. I'll see you next week on the tee. And now it's time for the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge, brought to you by Cleveland Golf. Cleveland Golf, how the game should feel. Now let's meet our players. Dave Galvin, Jeb Barth, Bill Smith, Pete Rome, George Haas, Herman Goldner, Chris Saharic, Mike Formica, Ron Rickert, Rick Barberi, Mike McElhenney, Greg Goldner, Chris Gaffney, Steve Pettit, Rob Salucci. Well, I'm here with my host today, Mike Formica. And Mike, we've got great weather, a beautiful golf course here at Radley Run, and a group of guys from PCI that look like they're pumped and ready to go. Michael, I think we're going to see a lot of winning golf highlights today. Thanks, Doug. Uh, again, we're really excited to be here. It's uh, a great venue, as usual, and uh, I can tell you right now that the PCI guys are pumped, our customers are pumped, and our union leadership that's attended, they're ready to go. Well, that, that's very exciting. Now, yeah. Michael, tell me about this golf course. I know you've played it one time before. What makes playing Radley Run such a great experience? Well, this is a beautiful course, Doug. I mean, there's a variety of very beautiful, challenging holes here. And the conditions here are just absolutely spectacular. And I got to tell you, the food here, it's pretty darn good. Well, that's for sure. A day at Radley Run is certainly a win-win situation. Yep. Well, one more thing, Michael. You have a very talented field here today. Can you give me a couple names of players that might shine today and maybe take home the big prizes? Well, the format here, I mean, just about anybody can, you know, win any of these particular challenges. But I'd have to say for PCI, Rick Barberi has a really nice short game, very quiet swing. So I'd look out for him, and I'm going to tell you, the Goldner brothers, they're extremely competitive. I know they're going to push each other out here today. Well, we'll see if your choices come true. Now, earlier this morning, we had a wonderful putting contest between Pete Rome and Chris Gaffney. Pete Rome took home the prize, and for his winnings, he takes home a gift certificate to the beautiful Desmond Hotel. And when we come back, we hope to give away some more prizes and some cash, lots of cash. In fact, one of our players could be putting for up to $5,000. That's right, five Gs. That's a lot. That's a lot. You won't want to miss that. Nobody ever called me the next big thing. My whole career I've been sort of overlooked, flying under the radar. Kind of like Cleveland with irons. They don't have some crazy name or gimmick. They just show up when it matters, like me. 
Introducing Cleveland 588 irons. Multiple flight, feel, and forgiveness profiles for the ultimate fit. I guess you can't stay under the radar forever. Golf isn't just what we do, it's all we are. You can feel it in our gloves and when you walk in our shoes. We know how to be light, comfortable, flexible, and how to make every day playable. And when you're a player, you wear the mark. FJ, the mark of a player. Prizes and tee gifts for the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge provided by Srixon Golf Balls. Play a better ball, Srixon. See more putters, hide the red dot, see more. Haas Jordan Umbrellas, golf and specialty umbrellas made from the finest quality materials. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time to putt for some cash. Our host for today, Mike Formica, just pulled a name from the hat to determine who gets to play. And Greg Goldner is our lucky contestant. He'll spin the wheel Perfect. to see if he's putting for $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, or $5,000. It looks like... Five, five. $1,000, guys, $1,000. Greg Goldner is ready to putt from 30 feet for $1,000. I certainly want to mention this exciting putting contest is sponsored by our friends from U.S. Hole and One Insurance. Boy, we would love to give away some more cash. And this putt is certainly makeable. 30 feet, and here's the stroke. It's coming up, and it's a very good effort. It got to the hole. A nice touch by Greg Goldner. Well, Greg Goldner, good try. You got it to the hole. Not this time, but hopefully next. Absolutely, Doug. Appreciate it and a great day. Thank you very much. Well, you're quite welcome. Well, we didn't give away the cash this week, but the great news is we have a ton of prizes to give away in the Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge. Let's get round one underway. Woo! Yeah. yeah. Our Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge takes place on the challenging 18th green at Radley Run Country Club. Our competitors will showcase their short game skills with some challenging shots in four preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one features a 20 yard chip from the fairway. No problem for Bill Smith. With a nice setup, he's online, will it reach the hole? A little bit short, but a nice stroke by Bill Smith. Mike Formica hits it just a little bit better. Going with a gap wedge up here, and that looks like a beautiful touch by Mike Formica. Dave Galvin dancing his ball to less than five feet. Chipping up here on the 18th green, and that's a beautiful touch by Dave. Mike McElhenney makes a run at the prize with this chip to four and a half feet. And this is going to be right below the hole, and it's a beautiful touch by Mike. Herman Goldner shows some skill here. Boy, he's got a chance right at the hole. And look at that touch by Herman Goldner. He's at two feet, eight inches. Not to be outdone is Greg Goldner. Butter coming from left to right. Boy, this one's right at, this one's got a chance. And look at that touch by Greg Goldner. He takes the round at two feet, two inches. Well done, Greg. Round two was a 30 yard pitch from the first cut that Bill Smith handled well. Bill Smith with a gap wedge. He's online, will reach the hole. Just a little bit short, but a nice touch by Bill Smith. Jeb Barth makes some noise with this effort to just over nine feet. Should come down a little bit towards the hole. Pin high for Jeb Barth. Well done, buddy. Chris Gaffney is a few inches better with this pitch. And boy, this is soft and a beautiful touch. And look at that effort by Chris Gaffney. George Haas rises to the occasion with his pitch. And a beautiful touch. This should wind up just below the cup. Uphill putt for George Haas. But Rick Barberi has them cheering with this golf shot to two feet from the cup. This one's got a chance to go in. Rick Barberi, awesome. Up next, a 20 yard short uphill pitch from the heavy rough. Mike Formica brought his short game. For the seven, on. boy, he's online. We'll get up to the hole. Just a little bit short, but a nice touch by Mike Formica. Jeb Barth continues his fine play. With a beautiful touch here coming in from left to right. Look at that touch by Jeb Barth. Good try, buddy. 
Steve Pettit tries to win the round at just over seven feet. With a beautiful touch, pin high, a nice shot by Steve Pettit. But Rick Barberi Rick. steals it with this beautiful shot to three feet from the pin. Look at that touch by Rick Barberi. Great job, Rick. Round four is our putting competition. Pete Rome leads us off. Ron Rickert sets the bar at one foot seven inches. But a nice stroke. Good touch by Ron Rickard. Chris Gaffney has a smooth putting stroke. With a beautiful touch, and this should be right next to the hole. Well done, Chris. Rob Salucci has a good read on this one. Beautiful right to left putt. Look at this touch by Rob Salucci. Wow, what a putt. Herman Goldner raises the bar at one foot from the cup. From the right side, this may come in the back door. Beautiful touch by Herman Goldner. Chris Saharic is even closer, 11 inches. Starting on the right side, this one's got a chance. Here it is. Oh, right in the lip of the cup. But Greg Goldner continues to play winning golf. I just got a chance, guys. It's in the hole. He drains it. Incredible. He takes the round and has his group looking for answers, as Doug provides this week's short game tip. This past week, I had two very good players contact me in a panic because they had a very bad case of the shanks. Guys, that word, that word gives me goosebumps, so I'd like to change it today to lateral pitch out. Sound good? Oh, yeah. All right, now let me start with this fact because a lot of players are confused. A shot that goes dead right is hitting off the hosel, not off the toe of the club. Many players believe they're hitting it off the tip of the club, it's going to the right, and they actually move closer to fix it. It's the worst thing you can do. I wanna talk about four common causes that a lateral pitch out comes from, and Chris, give me one cause. Bad posture. Okay, bad posture, great example. A lot of players, when they wanna get down to the golf ball, they flex their knees a lot and almost sit down. That posture does not allow them to bring the club from the inside because their knees are actually in the way. They're sitting too much. So as a result, they take the club outside. And when you take the club outside, you're gonna connect with the hosel. All right, number two, Michael? Uh, body weight forward. Body weight forward. Probably the most popular one that I fix, especially when I lie like this where the ball is below my feet. If your weight gets onto your toes, now keep in mind your head and your chest are the two heaviest parts of your body. So if you lean over too much, your weight's going to get to your toes. That will cause your path to come outside, and again, you'll connect with the hosel of the club. Number three, Chris? Getting too wristy. Getting too wristy. Some players around the green get very handsy. They take their club and roll their wrists and take it way inside. Very common, I see this a lot. The opposite of way inside and wristy is to get wristy and throw it outside. So if you come inside quick, you're probably gonna come outside quick and of course, you're gonna catch the hosel again. Number four, Steve. It's your stance and path. Stance and path. Everybody reads in the magazines around the green, you gotta have an open stance, right guys? That's right. Yeah. So a lot of people stand way open. The problem is you also want your path to match your stance. What a lot of players do is they open their stance, but they take their path down their target line. And you can see from this angle, what am I gonna hit? The hosel. I'm gonna hit the hosel. I'd like to put that tip into action. I love for Herman Goldner to come up here. Herman, right. thank you, Herman. Right. thanks for being here. Okay, Herman, you've got a little bit of a downhill lie, balls below your feet. So the key here is to get in the great posture and great balance. So I want you to get a slight knee flex. You can get up to the golf ball for me. A slight knee flex, good. Feel the weight on the balls of your feet. Mm -hmm. All right, it's very good. Some players, by the way, they test their balance up here. Then they put their club down. Of course, now they're leaning in. Mm -hmm. So he's got his club on the ground. That's a good way to start. Feel perfect balance, okay. You can use your wrist to hinge the club, but we're not gonna bring it inside. Okay. And your alignment looks very good. You're slightly open. I want you to swing along that path, okay? okay let's see what happens. I'm gonna stand back with this wonderful group from Performance Contracting. Let's see what happens. Now look at this shot, guys. What a beautiful stroke. Wow, great touch, perfect balance, perfect setup. Great job today. Great tip, great day. Now it's time for our do or die survivor round. The top two players in our Cleveland Golf Skills Challenge survivor round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. This week we have a 25 yard pitch from the rough. Rob Salucci leads the charge. Rob Salucci bringing it high and soft and look at this shot by Rob. Steve Pettit showing some fine form. With a beautiful touch and going right at it. Nice try, Steve, well done. 
Mike McElhenney sets the bar at just under six feet. With a beautiful touch up the hill here. Just left it a pin, and that's a nice touch by Michael. George Haas is an inch or two better. George Haas with a Cleveland lob wedge, and look at this touch by George. Well done, buddy. Greg Goldner grabs a spot in the final with this shot to four and a half feet. Just right of the hole. Well done, Greg. That leaves Dave Galvin to try to take the last spot. Dave Galvin with a beautiful touch. He's going right at it. Wow. At under four feet from the pin, he does. So it'll be Galvin and Goldner who'll advance. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's. With fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Flavored in your choice of seven signature sauces. Philly's number one sports fans catch every game at PJ Wellahan. Where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit PJ'sPub.com. I'm Joe Bush, and I know Infinities. Get to know me, and I'll help you get to know Infinities too. Test drive the all new incredible Infinity Q50 at Infinity of Ardmore or Infinity of Westchester. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Proforma Industries, your one source for promotional products, printing services, and e commerce solutions. Legendary Headwear, wear what the pros wear, legendary. And by PJ Wheelahan's Pub and Restaurant. Visit one of our restaurants and make it a party at PJ's. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. Whether it's cool, rainy, or windy, make every day playable with FootJoy. It's time now for the SAP Up and In Playoff on Winning Golf. We are on the 18th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes, a slot in the Winning Golf Championship, and the opportunity to win a brand new Infiniti G37 convertible. Now the rules for the SAP playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our Winning Golf Champion. Greg Goldner will have the honors. Greg is a purchasing manager for the Herman Goldner Company and plays most of his golf at White Marsh Valley Country Club. And he's bringing it up the hill here, and that's a great touch. He's right below the hole. He's got a great touch with a putter, and it certainly worked there. And now it's Dave Galvin's turn. Dave is an estimator for performance contracting. Placed most of his golf at Limerick Golf Club. Oh, he hit a little behind it and left it just off the fringe. This should move from his left to right. That's a good line. Is that enough speed? Oh, that's a great effort. Looks like about four feet short of the cup. Well, Greg Goldner is about seven feet from becoming the winning golf champion here at Radley Run Country Club. Here's the putt. Oh, just off the back edge. He's left himself with about two feet. Well, Dave Gallen has five feet. If he rolls this in, gonna put some pressure on Greg Goldner. Oh, just off the edge low. Well, Greg Goldner has about two and a half feet. If he rolls this in, he is the winning golf champion. Yeah. For performance contracting. Greg Goldner. Well, Greg Goldner, congratulations. Uh, you depend on that putter for a lot of your shots. It certainly works. You are the champion here at Radley Run. I hope you had a great experience with winning golf. Doug, I had a, I had a great experience with winning golf. Thank you for uh, your instruction. Um, just a great day. I'd like to thank Performance Contracting, our host here. Uh, beautiful morning. Um, I've met a lot of great friends, new friends. So uh, very excited, and uh, thanks again. Well, you're quite welcome, Greg. Well, You've already won a lot of prizes, but the excitement's not over here because in a couple minutes, I'm going to have you pitch from 90 feet for a brand new Infinity G37 convertible. Greg, it's an unbelievable car. Can you knock it in for us today? Uh, we're going to try, and uh, hopefully we will. Uh, we could use a new, ve new vehicle at home for sure. Thank you. 
Well, that sounds good. Well, I've got a great feeling about this shot. In fact, I brought the keys to the new car, so don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. Enjoy one-of-a-kind hospitality at the Desmond Hotel Malvern, a full-service hotel with a staff focused on providing exceptional customer service. It's no wonder our guests say the Desmond Hotel is the best part of traveling. This summer, visit the Sunset Grill at the Desmond. Succulent Maine lobster, live music, and special cocktails. Come see why we're consistently voted the best outdoor dining in Chester County. If it's important to you, trust it to us at the Desmond. What do 16% larger grooves feel like? What does a rotational face pattern feel like? How about dimensionally optimized laser milling? It feels like the most advanced spin technology ever engineered into a single club face. The new 588 Rotex wedge from Cleveland Golf feels like the best wedge we've ever built because that's exactly what it is. I'm Joe Bush, and I know Infinities. Get to know me, and I'll help you get to know Infinities too. Test drive the all new incredible Infinity Q50 at Infinity of Ardmore or Infinity of Westchester. With winning golf, everybody wins. It's time now on winning golf for the Infinity Champions Pitch Infinity Inspired Performance. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Pitch. Each week, our champion will attempt to hole out from 90 feet to win an amazing Infinity G37 convertible. Winning Golf is thrilled to have two awesome dealerships, Infinity of Ardmore and Infinity of Westchester, sponsoring this thrilling event. Our champion, Greg Goldner, is 90 feet away while the group is cheering behind him. This is an awesome car, and Greg's got a nice short game. Here it comes. Oh, he's online. It's running up. Will it get to the crest? Hey, about 15 feet away. That's a nice effort by Greg Goldner. Well done. Well, I hope you enjoyed our show from the first class Radley Run Country Club. I'd like to acknowledge General Manager Joe Mendez, Head Golf Professional John Kellogg, and the entire Radley Run membership for their warm hospitality. Also want to thank my wonderful host, Mike Formica, and the entire performance contracting team. We certainly had a great day together. Oh, and by the way, if you'd like to check out the Winning Golf Photo Gallery or see any of the shows from 2013, it's easy. Just go to winninggolftv.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Winning Golf is brought to you by SAP. SAP helps companies run like never before. Run better with SAP. Everybody wins.